Hello and welcome to Organic Edible Garden. Today we're going to look at planting our corn, which is a warm weather crop. And we're going to plant in our bed that we planted our lettuces about six weeks ago. We've had a good crop from these lettuces, but it's time for them to come out. So the crew will be eating salad for the next few days. Unlike other vegetables, corn is a grass or a grain, and it likes to be planted in the new moon with other green leafy vegetables. It has its seeds on the outside when it fruits. The rest of the lettuce will just go to the chickens, so nothing will be wasted. And if you don't have chickens, it'll break down in your compost bin quickly. This bed, before we planted the lettuces, we added quite a bit of organic material. But because we're planting corn in here and it's such a gross feeder, we're going to add some good carbon back into that soil in the form of compost. So we'll just lightly spade over the bed, but you can use a fork if you've got one. I'm a great fan of using a fork, but this spade's got an extra long handle and it saves me bedding down and saves my back. And because you can't overfeed corn, we're going to give it some chicken manure or any animal manure and some more rock dust. We'd probably give it double what would give a normal type of vegetable. Then we're just going to mix it lightly through. Next, we're going to plant our corn. Traditionally, corn was planted on top of fish carcasses. Once they were a metre tall, the runner beans would be growing up them, and they'd grow pumpkins in between to shelter and keep the soil cool. However, there are older varieties, and our modern varieties of corn take a lot of food. And I've found putting them in their own bed and giving them their own requirements, I get a much better crop. I'm going to be planting some sweet corn plants and some seeds. The reason I'm starting with plants is they're about two, three weeks ahead of the seeds and I can get an earlier start to the season. They do grow quite tall, however, to about 1.8 metres tall. So I'm going to put them at the south side of the bed. North is over here and that's where I'll put the seeds. The reason I'm doing this is that I don't want all my corn to come on at once. So I've got a dozen that will start and when they're finished, the other dozen will come on. And unlike other vegetables that are pollinated by the bees or the birds, corn is wind pollinated. So we need to plant them in a block and never in a straight line. So on a windy day, the pollen from the male tassels will come down and pollinate the female, which is the cob, and give you a full cob of corn. 
I'm planting these guys about 45 to 50 centimetres apart. Because they're such gross feeders, any closer and then the plants will end up suffering. I hope to get about sort of two to three cobs per plant. Corn can't tolerate cold weather, so if you're in an area of late frost, just wait to make sure all those frosts are over before you plant them. The next thing we're going to do is put our seeds in. So these seeds will be about two to three weeks behind these plants, but they're off to a good start because the soil is now nice and warm. Because the seed germination is quite erratic, I'm going to put a few extra seeds in, and as they germinate, I can pull them out if I don't need them. When buying seeds, it's important to buy untreated seeds and there are a few companies around that do sell it. Some of the varieties they do are things like Chieftain or Max, which are good varieties of sweet corn. Now even though they're hybridized and not the old-fashioned corn, they're as good as you can get organically. So for each plant, I'll plant three seeds and I'll pull one out. And I push them in about three centimeters into the ground. I'm going to use these seeds for another planting in about three weeks time. But if you're not using the seeds anymore, just remember to date them, say what they are, and then stick them in the fridge so they'll last for next year. Apart from being heavy feeders, corn also likes lots of water during the growing season, so have a good water source nearby. And in optimum conditions, I expect this corn to be ready in about six to eight weeks. The best way to tell your cobs are ready is when the end becomes rounded rather than pointy. If you keep opening up and looking if it's ready, there's a good chance for caterpillars to get in there and eat your cobs. The only other problems we seem to have with them is either rats or birds, but there's no great solution for that one. The blueberries we planted this spring have now set fruit. And as much as it hurts me, we should take some of this fruit off, or most of it. We're going to do this because then all the energy will going to go into the roots and the leaves and make much stronger plants. If we leave these guys on, the energy will go into ripening these and the plants will suffer. I'm going to leave a few on just for taste. <laughs> 